After the uncertainty and turmoil of 2020, Network for Animals entered 2021 ready to redouble our rescue efforts around the world. With the effects of COVID still ravaging the globe, the animals needed us more than ever. Our work continued in helping to ease their pain and suffering in 20 countries around the world, where our teams frequently worked in dangerous, impoverished and gang-infested communities, dodging violent criminals and dangerous situations to reach the animals who so desperately needed us. In rural Faza, Kenya, animals experience some of the worst neglect, abuse and malnourishment we've seen. Here, starving donkeys eat plastic rubbish washed up on beaches just to fill their bellies. We partnered with the Kenyan Society for the Protection and Care of Animals to rush food to the donkeys of the region, as well as run a mass sterilization program for street cats. Over the course of a week, our team managed to sterilize 356 cats, making significant inroads into managing the massive street cat population in Faza and sparing thousands of cats from a life of starvation and neglect on the streets. In Mozambique, we traveled to the poor village of Shai Shai in the south to conduct a much needed cat and dog sterilization and vaccination drive with our partners protect Shai Shai's furry friends and vets on the road. Many animals will now be spared lives of difficulty and suffering, and those sterilized will live healthier, calmer and happier lives. Thanks to you, the lives of more than 500 cats and dogs in Zimbabwe were saved when you helped us to prevent the closure of the Friend Animal Foundation shelter in Harare. We were able to solve their immediate food issues, help them hire a shelter assistant, provide the funds for critical surgeries, and have pledged to provide ongoing assistance. We helped the Matabile Land Animal Rescue and Equine Sanctuary, a vital safe haven for abused and abandoned donkeys of the region. These animals endure such gruesome abuse and we're incredibly grateful for the unending and often heartbreaking work that Mares does in rescuing, rehabilitating and caring for these animals. In Greece, we ran mass sterilization programs on the islands of Ithaca and Meganisi, where veterinary care is hard to come by and hundreds of cats roam the streets where they breed, starve and die. Your donations helped us to treat blind kittens as well as Melina, a little cat caught in the wildfires in Athens, whose paws were horrifically burned as she tried to flee the flames. Thanks to your donations, Melina will be able to walk again. In Tanzania, our team uncovered the horrors of the Chinese-led donkey skin trade, which slaughters thousands of donkeys every month to make cosmetics. An extensive undercover operation by our team revealed extreme and shocking cruelty at a slaughterhouse in Shinyanga, where tens of thousands of donkeys were illegally bludgeoned to death every month. We joined forces with the Arusha Society for the Protection of Animals to investigate and call for the closure of the slaughterhouse. And in November, the Tanzanian government banned all donkey slaughter in the country. The only thing that will save Africa's donkeys is for individual countries' governments to ban the trade to China altogether. Behind the glossy veneer of Mexico's tourist cities of Los Cabos and San Jose de Calvo, animals are subjected to the most horrific abuse and neglect. The Baja Safe Humane Society and the Los Cabos Humane Society are two organizations battling to save, rehabilitate and rehome growing numbers of suffering animals. Your donations provided food, medication, treatment and life-changing sterilization to hundreds of animals in their care. Meanwhile, in Hidalgo, little Carmela was left paralyzed after being hit by a car. After dragging her broken body to a nearby house for help, she managed to pull through, showing her incredible determination to live. Today, she's living out her life at the Fiona Animal Refuge, one of this year's Brian Davies Award winners, where your generous donations have given her a wheelchair and helped her regain her freedom and zest for life. The world watched in horror as the animals of Kabul were thrown into crisis in August as US and British troops pulled out of Afghanistan. It was an unmitigated disaster for thousands of animals. While attempts to evacuate the animals failed at the 11th hour, 
Your donations helped us to provide critical food, care and treatment for those left behind in the war zone, many of them abandoned by owners who'd fled. Rescued animals also included ex-military and working dogs who had been in service up until the Taliban took control. The situation on the ground remains extremely sensitive, but we continue to work closely with our partner, the Kabul Small Animal Rescue, to ensure the safety of the animals still on the ground, as well as to plan for their eventual evacuation. In Colas in Montenegro, we were able to provide critical funds to the 140 animals of Ricky Shelter, which is single-handedly run by one woman, Danijela Vusanovic, who is battling cancer and terrified the local municipality will euthanize her dogs if she dies. Because of your generosity, we were able to provide enough food to get the dogs through the harsh winter and have promised to help save the dogs should the worst happen to Danijela. It's only because of the generosity of our supporters that we can do this work. So please, if you possibly can, Donate to Network for Animals today.